today we're going to look here at the JGVA machine. Now this machine is my favorite machine for doing different smart textiles or electronics textile sampling. It allows us to access different features in the machine such as traditional F-head embroidery for stitching circuit boards down, uh, different attachments that can be put on to cut things out or in order to start to examine them with an optical system. Additionally, we have the ability with this machine to put wires down on our W head machine. And then also in the middle, we have a K head, which lets us start to work with different textile electrodes or electrostimulation, that type of thing. So without further ado, we're gonna go through each individual head, and that way we can kind of show some of the possibilities of this machine and why I think it's the best one for prototyping different new smart textiles. So on this machine, we have over here our T8 controller. And the T8 controller is what's responsible for taking the stitch file, which holds each individual stitch location, special, fe special function, special feature, and allows that to be translated into machine movement and machine action. So the controller is kind of the brains of the machine here. This controller allows for you to bring designs in from USB or from network card, depending on what you are looking for in that regard. It allows you also to move through different parts of a design, to skip forward, to insert new features, as well as it has an editor built in that I can change and tweak designs a little bit on the fly if I need to, which saves me some time from going back to software and coming back in. Here we have the F-head. The F-head is what we primarily use in smart textiles and electronics textiles design to be able to stitch or interface connections between physical boards and flexible textile circuits. And so from this machine and this head, we have a very high stitch precision accuracy. And this allows us to stitch directly into mounting holes on circuit boards, or allows us to stitch into fiducials into other different types of media, allowing an interface between rigid structures and flexible uh, embroidered structures. We also have the ability to do nine different needles here. So the nine different needles allow us nine different thread types or nine different materials. So for instance, you can have polyester in there as a standard embroidery material to be able to create design patterns. Or you can have different conductive threads in the, in the machine in order to create different conductive passes. So in the machine right now, we have uh, HC40 by Madeira, which is one conductive thread we do a lot of prototyping with. And we also have by Amon Silvertech, which is another thread that works very, very well in high speed applications to be able to do high conductivity embroidery. Additionally, with this head, we have the ability to set in two different uh, attachments. And these attachments can be things such as LED sequins to be able to put small conductive and functional sequins or small circuit boards down. Here right now we have a hot air cutter to be able to cut around the outside of a substrate or a flexible circuit. It also can allow different differential heating on the surface, which is very interesting for different fusible threads or for soldering on the machine or a wide variety of other different possibilities in that regard. Uh, we also have the ability to put cords down, as well as a lot of other different attachments, beading devices. A lot of these different attachments allow us to really look at new plays of interfacing, new technologies with embroidery, increasing the amount that the machine can do. On this head, we have the W head. Now, the W head I think of as wire head or wire embroidery head. And what this head lets us do, especially for smart textiles and electronics textiles, is to place wires or other highly conductive media down to create very, very high conductive circuits or low resistance circuits. So things like bridging or routing between two sensors is a very popular topic, as well as putting different mechanical structures into fabrics as well. The wire head embroidery technique can also be used with tubes or fibers in order to create different types of mechanical properties in the goods. The W head technique allows for different types of stainless steel wires down to 63 micron, all the way up to significantly thicker wires, Cat5 cables included. This allows us to have a very good control over a wide swath of different material options, allowing for more design and development possibilities. Additionally, here we have a small spool mounting system. The small spool allows us to use smaller amounts of material to test out a new design to see if it's feasible. This is very popular on this type of machine where we're trying to really look at sampling, design development, and idea generation. 
Following that, we have the automatic feeder system, which allows us to work with large feeders and large industrial cones. And this means that we don't have to swap different materials in. That allows us to have a higher throughput and a better manufacturing process. These different techniques can all be applied from a smaller sampling machine like this to a full production machine as well. This saves time, allowing you to do development up front, and furthermore, allowing for uh, production to become a possibility in the future. And here we have our K head. Our K head allows us to do chenille embroidery, or moss embroidery, and chain stitching. So moss and chenille embroidery create loops or pile structures. These pile structures are very, very soft and have some interesting technical applications when we use them to create electrodes. For electrodes, we want a surface that is very soft because it's going to interface against the skin, very compliant to bend around the skin's conformances, and then also we want extremely high conductivity because the conductivity allows us to get a better signal out. K-Head innately does these. K-Head allows for a high volumetric conductivity by being able to work with the fiber structure and the conductive fibers to pass electricity quickly through them with very, very low resistance. This allows us to get good signals out for things like EMG or EEG or ECG. Having these different types of sensors embedded into garments allows us to get new and interesting data out of a textile or new and interesting types of electrostimulation into a textile. So the JGBA is our main sampling machine. So this allows us to try all the different techniques. Now, one of the things of a sampling machine, though, is I want to sometimes maneuver some things or try some things out. So a feature that we did is we built in a trap door here that when you open it up, the machine stops its embroidery. And also, this allows us to get into the machine to access the individual threads or needles as needed to be able to make modifications easily. Now, come with me downstairs and we're going to see what's underneath the machine. So here we have the underside of the K-head. Now the underside of the K-head is actually where the most of the action happens. So in the K-head we have six different threads that we can feed in. Those threads could be something like cotton, they could also be conductive threads for sensors. You can also experiment with different types of wires and other type of material that could potentially create interesting new chenille or chain stitch designs. Now, the thread is fed up here through this entire tensioning system and into the top piece. Now, the exciting part on a K-head embroidery is that there's no rotary hook underneath there. There's just one needle. It's a continuous thread the whole way through the piece. So you can kind of think of K-head as a chenille or a crochet stitch, where I'm always pulling through the previous stitch. Now, the needle on the top is what pulls that thread up from the bottom here, so this is where we can feed our systems. Another nice bit about K-Head is we're not limited to smaller cones. We can run some very large cones of conductive or unconductive material through the machine, and that increases the throughput because we don't have to stop and change out new cones. It's a very important part of K-Head, especially since the thread is much thicker. And here we have an automatic bobbin changer. The automatic bobbin changer allows for the machine to replace its own bobbins, increasing the speed of embroidery and decreasing the operator usage. So what this automatic bobbin changer does is it actually allows you to match top thread to bottom thread. So for instance, I can put conductive thread on the top and the bottom, or I can program it to have conductive thread just on the top, or conductive thread just on the bottom. This allows us to actually use these embroidered uh, textile preforms as two layer circuit boards, where I can have a conductive surface A or top surface. I can have vias of conductivity with top and bottom, to pass that electrical connection through the, uh, the middle of the fabric. And then I can also have conductivity just in the bottom. This allows me to create two layer circuit boards much like we would traditionally do in PCB design. The automatic bobbin changer allows for a high level of automation in the machine and further decreases the operator's touch time when working on different conductive and smart textile applications. Thank you for joining us on our introduction to the JGVA Smart Textile Sampling Machine. We hope you enjoyed this and coming up soon we're going to have some more videos on different conductive passes using the F-head on this machine. Stay tuned. Have a great day.